The Grand Pavilion was built in 1896 as a theatre venue for seaside entertainment, skating and dancers. During the First World War, this hall was used to assemble aircraft parts. Following this, the theatre became an amusement arcade, one of the first in the country at the time. This building was considered prestigious during this period of time, with a large dome roof and smaller domes either side of the entrance. The top of the dome was removed in the 80s and the arcade was closed down in 2015. At the back of the site is a flat which was occupied by caretakers. The caretaker's living room overlooked the main arcade and was often used for hours of poker games. Since the arcade closed, the false ceiling has been removed, revealing its stunning original ceilings, and now in 2020, this is what remains this building. All right, guys, so it's about half 11 at night. So I'm, I'm really hoping there's a good way to get in here because I don't really fancy climbing fencing tonight. I'm being a bit lazy today. We had a really long day, so I'm, uh, I'm feeling it. Guys, there's a, pa guys, 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 there's a panel. There's a panel, the panel. Watch it, watch there's loads of spikes and nails. Right? Watch. Okay, yeah. Be very careful, okay? Yeah, no problem. If you're taking this, if for some reason any weird or else we'll just have to build as much as we can and then get out Yeah. Okay. I can't believe that's open like that. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you, youth. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, someone's definitely broken in here recently. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They don't leave them open like this, so somebody has definitely come in and done a, a little jobby in here. Thank God for that. No climbing, yay! <laughs> nice and easy. All right, guys, so we've just got inside. This is absolutely amazing. I'm buzzing. What's that say? Puro. Puro fair trade. Espressos, cappuccinos, tropical ice. Oh, wow, it's even got the signs and bits. So this was more than likely their um their little shop. I think this is where they would have had the counter, yeah. More than likely. Probably till here, yeah, because the glass as well. Yeah. Candy floss. Yeah. Oh, I love a bit of candy floss. Candy floss. Oh, girl. You'll have a bit of that. Oh. <laughs> You'll have a bit of anything for three pound each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the counter. They probably kept all of like, the funds, obviously, for all the slot machines behind here. And that is more than likely some sort of bulletproof glass because of obviously having cash handling, you're at a higher risk. So there we are, that is that. I'm gonna chase it on this side. We've got Bumblebee. Say hi, Bumblebee. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and then this was more than likely the shutter for the uh, ice cream shop. So they could just serve, obviously, having your bits and pieces along here. And then straight out the window. <gasps> Oh, look at that. Wow. So this is like the main hall. Look at that beautiful roof. And it's actually not as suffered as I thought. I thought it would look a lot worse than this. But yeah, this is the more than likely. I'm thinking this is probably 100% the, the main arena. And then what we got over, we got another board. We've got another one. Ah, oh, bugger, it contains asbestos. Bugger it. There we are. So you got your actually I'm gonna stay away from that alarm. I think it's old because it's not flashing, but I don't want to test the theory. So I'll film it from here. So we've got cotton chips, scamping chips, plowmans. There we are, teas, coffees. Ice creams. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, oh, right, my viewers know kitchens are quite literally my favourite part of any export ever. It's probably part of being a chef. I really get off on kitchens. Oh, Ooh, look at this counter. Yes, you can finally get a towel. Oh, hallelujah. Eat in or take away. Got another menu. Ventnor. Bay Cafe. Oh, fantastic. Oh, hello. Oh, you saw. Let's have a look at those. Yes, B. They do suit you though, granted. They do suit you. Got some keys. A little mermaid tail. And a really old phone. Look at that phone. I'm not going to touch it because uh, it is old, it is smashed, but you know, some, some places leave little bits like this to uh, get you to touch them and then actually it ends up uh, getting you in trouble. So please pay when you order, cash only, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is obviously the restaurant side of it. And then please order at the counter, quality foods, freshly prepared. Right, where's my food at? Hey? Hello? Well, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Got some uh, mains. Very small kitchen. Do not wear your apron when leaving cafe area. Oh, nice one. Nice. Look at this. It's a massive cobweb. Oh, oh. 
I just walked straight for it, idiot. So another games side. Oh, like it's like a, oh, what do you call this? Like a car track kind of thing. So more than likely, we had some little systems along here. You know, the ones you pay a pound, you can whiz a few cars around an electric track. I'm thinking it might be that. Because obviously you're not gonna fit actual like bumper cars in this. So, <laughs> so it's more than like those little uh, remote control little thingies. I'll do that back bit in a minute. I wanna see what these guys have found. Oh, wow, look at the detail. That wood is fantastic. It actually hasn't suffered any damage whatsoever. No wood rot, no nothing. Amazing. Then we've got the world's biggest safe. Jesus, that's, that's heavy. Wow. So obviously that would have been for all of their uh, extra cash and funds. So obviously being an arcade and that, got a load of money boxes. Tapas menu, oh lush. Got some paperwork up there, nothing major. A few service names. Oh. <laughs> Found a huge safe, huge. Yeah, absolutely enormous. Very well hidden. <laughs> Not. There's a room. If you go straight in that door, yeah. there's a room in there, there's a window that is open. Oh, okay. So just be careful, the boards on the floor have got massive nails in them. Right, okay. So just be careful where you stand. All right, thanks babe. Awesome. All right. I've got to be careful in here then. Oh, absolute jungle of mains. God, I feel sorry for the electrician. Ah. Oh, there's a staircase. There's a back route. Oh, there's lots. Um, I think that was the room linking in for, yeah. So there's the bumper cars. No, it's not bumper cars. There's the race car arena. There's a backboard window. So this, this, so many people have obviously done this. That's a huge, huge bit. And that's more than like the board they would have brought down. So yeah, I'm looking at it. I think quite a few people have done it because it's, it's in pretty bad condition. It looks like it's been a, smashed up a bit. Right, want to be careful on these stairs apparently. That one looks dodge. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, that is a bit dodgy. So I've got a really ugly sofa. Um, <laughs> nah, it's, oh. it's not the worst I've seen. It's not my uh, personal taste, but it's not the absolute worst. And down there, I think is that's the uh, main arena, if you look through there, but it's obviously too dark to show you. Yeah, these floors are really, really dodgy. Got a nice desk there. Load of other sofas. And a little kitchenette, obviously for our staff. <sighs> yeah, no. You can you can smell the uh, the damp and mould. It's quite a lot worse than I thought it'd be. Oh, there's another staircase. Oh, okay. Ooh, I'm getting a bit creeped out in here. It's probably because it's, uh, it's midnight, give or take. Got a double bed sat there. Pictures, some chairs. Oh, it's getting really spongy. Then just another bedroom. Wow, it keeps linking. There's a bath. It's a nice bath, actually. It's very small. I'm surprised they didn't smash that up. They smashed the window up there. But, oh, there she is. I'm actually wearing my Kaylee Cosmic Sports hoodie. Haven't worn it in a very long time, so. But now it's winter. No flipping way. This has to stop. They're everywhere. They literally are. Do you know, ever since that first series, what was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Maybe it's another bug. Maybe. Yeah. Do you know, ever since that first series of the Urban and Paul Mansion, we are literally seeing these butterflies everywhere. I don't know if it's a seasonal thing or if it actually really is maybe some sort of bloody omen following us. We've got the lights up there. Now it's getting a bit it's getting a bit weird all these butterflies. I'm starting to think there's more behind it, you know. Even more to the fact that it's a seasonal thing and they uh, hibernate in these sort of areas because it's damp, it's mold, it's dark, you know, perfect environment for you know little bugs and bits. Or if it really has been a little a little something, because this is getting quite weird. But we made a kind of a, a bit of a joke of it when we first started seeing them. And uh, every time we talk about them before we go into a building they are coming out of nowhere. So you never know really. I want to do a bit more research and see uh, if this is a, a normal thing. If anyone knows, comment below. If you know the seasons of these butterflies, I'd be really interested to know. Sounds crazy, I know it's only a butterfly, but be interesting. You never guess what I've just seen upstairs. Another black butterfly, huge. Another one. 
I've just said to the viewers, uh, I don't know if this is a seasonal thing or if it's actually a oh, thing no. thing. Kelly, you're going to get used to seeing butterflies. Oh, Why? Well, because you're oh. actually dead. Kelly. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, you're I in, thought you're it. In, you're in heaven, though, isn't you're it? I'm in heaven. Yeah. Well, I'm with the greatest people, so I'm happy with that. It's God's way of telling you. This dragon's going to be giving you hints, but you're just not taking them. <laughs> Have you seen these movies uh, where people die and they don't realise it? Yeah, the whole uh, ghost town thing. Oh, maybe I'll re uh, meet uh, Ricky Gervais if I'm lucky enough. Got some awesome, awesome mirrors. Proper casino style. And they do this to make the room look bigger than what it is, to let all the lights bounce off so it looks more of an atmosphere. So you as buyers, you invest in it that bit better because you think it looks absolutely incredible. And you get inside and it's a small mooch. But there we are. Being exposed now, aren't they? <laughs> Giving out all their secrets. Got a ladies' facility. Still key in the door. Okay. Nice big sound systems. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit of an old place for storage, granted, but yet again, they use nice big sound systems, drawers all in, you know, pumping vibes and stuff, and uh, you get in and you, you lose all your money. And what's down there? Uh, it's just a dead end. Yeah, no, nothing major in there. Oh, wow, look at that. That's really cool. Oh, it's like a fun fair sort of poster. Oh, nice one. Shame someone smashed at the side of it. Yeah. That's a really cool piece. That was the staircase, obviously, it links to the, uh, the other side. There we are. So that's a follow on from it. All right, Jenny, the A, and B have just pointed out all this glass. I actually didn't see it, right? I'm not going to touch it because I'm not going to be silly, but it's it's all like, if I get a bit, there we are. It's really crumbly, like shattered completely and utterly. Um, and it would have been the stained glass windows just above. Didn't even spot that. It's pretty good, it's so dark you can't really see it unless you're really looking for it. Oh, there you go, you can see through it into the truck. Oh, it's the others, that's fine. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, God, we're not alone. I didn't think you could see through those windows, but you can. Yeah. So whoever was up there could kind of like look down and monitor mm. like a little spy station. It's sort of frosted though. When you go up there, it almost looks like frosted glass. You yeah. can't see down this I way. You can see anything down this way. Mm. And it's got a really cool sort of, um, almost like a theatre sort of platform. But I'm obsessed with that ceiling. Absolutely stunning. So if ever they develop this place, I hope they keep that because that is a feature and a half. It's quite rare. You don't really see that sort of stuff these days. And I've done a fair few abandoned buildings. That's the first on me, a cool ceiling like that. Right, guys, I've had a little flick round and I think literally that is all of it. Um, now that I know that alarm's actually not monitored, I might quickly have a flick over it. If it is now, I've done it, so I'm not really phased, you know. But there we are. So, Vetna Bay special breakfast. That is a big breakfast. Two sausages, two bacon, two eggs, three hash browns, two tomatoes, helping of beans, mushrooms, two slices of bread pudding. What? Yeah. Um, two fried bread, two toast, jam. Oh my God. All for six quid. Are they crazy? No wonder why they made no money. That's the cheapest breakfast I've ever heard of. Huh? Oh my God, that's ho Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Oh, Shh. what was that? There's a whole dead fox. And it's not recently uh, died. died because it's, it's like still- it playing with the toy. <laughs> oh, that's really sad. See, I think they get into these buildings, but they don't know a way out. So, um, they get stuck. yeah. Sorry if you viewers see that, sorry. I like seeing the uh, the skeletons, but I don't like seeing it like that. That's a bit sad, actually. But yeah, they obviously get in here and can't find a way out. But right, guys, and I think that was uh, the arcade explored. It's it's been a long long day, long night. Um, I, did, I didn't actually think we'd get in here. I'm actually really happy, quite impressed. Um, I think that might be the whole place. I'm gonna have a quick more whip round, and if I find something, I'll let you know. And if not, I will see you on the outro. Cash machine here. Oh hello. I tell you, I could do with some cash. This trip's cost me a fortune. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, just on the way out, there we are. So that was the ice cream shutter that I was saying, and up there, you know, forest ice cream, and all your board. So I think it is fair to say, amusements, you've been explored.
the mat there. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Pop up and do this. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to wait till you started filming and then go, ah. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? All right, guys, that was the abandoned arcade. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. All these guys' links will be down below, so please go and check them out if you haven't already turned that bell. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'll catch you shortly. Bye.